I do know quite a bit about migraines. I did a lot of reading on migraine headaches when I got deep into this. I mean, deep into it, above my hip. I mean, sometimes it's like up here, I'm so deep in to TMD and, and trying to dis discern uh, mostly in the past, what was going on, but here's, here's a fact. Uh, there are many studies about migraines out there, good studies by scientific minds, good scientific minds, but if you pull up those studies, almost always the first paragraph or two of those studies are going to say one way or another, we have no idea what causes migraine headaches. Fact. They have different names for them, set of migraines, they're commonly called uh, trigeminal vascular headaches, kind of equal migraines, trigeminal vascular. Uh, you know, I got to have a bigger word to make it more complicated. Um, but the public calls them migraines. Most doctors call them migraines. And but the truth is that the scientists, the studies, the doctors who treat them, or the people who study them, they know enough that they don't know what causes migraines. And so I sit here and my associate, Dr. Urbina sits here in this office and the other doctors who, who use our system and appliance and, and protocol, um, they have a plethora of patients coming in who absolutely know that they have migraine headaches, they're treated for migraine headaches, they're on drugs for migraine headaches. And when you make the inflammation in the jaw joints go away, their migraines go away. But we don't treat migraines, we treat TMD headaches. So I wanted to make that point because that is the most common. And of course that, <laughs> that may get some hate mail um, because I, we, have, we have the information here, we have the statistics. Uh, we have the thousands of patients who, who actually experience that and document it. 